In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a character walk over an obstacle like a ramp using character physics. The starting point for this tutorial is the file charactertut1.blend. You can make the file yourself from previous tutorials or download it from my website. A character rig consists of a skin and an armature. This armature has six bones, a head bone, arm bones, leg bones, all parented to the backbone. The character skin consists of six boxes. Each box is parented to a bone, so that wherever the bone goes, the box follows. To make a ramp for the character to walk over, add mesh cube. Click the object properties, set the X location to minus four, set the Z location to one, and the X scale to two. Go into edit mode, select the vertex, hold down shift, select the second vertex, mesh vertices merge, shortcut key alt M, merge at first, Select the vertex, hold down shift, select the second vertex, Alt M, merge it first, go back into object mode. Select the armature to look at the logic bricks attached to it. Most of the sensors are keyboard sensors. Most of them are waiting for an arrow key to be pressed. When the up arrow key is pressed, a signal will be sent that will go through an AND logic brick and onto two actuators, an action actuator which will play the walk action and a motion actuator which will move the armature forwards. With the mouse cursor in the 3D view window, press P to play to start the game engine, rotate the character and walk towards the ramp and we walk through the ramp. When the character touched the ramp, a collision event occurred. Because no action was taken in response to the event, the character went through the ramp. The easiest way to get the character to walk up the ramp is to use physics simulation. The simplest way to set up the physics is to create a cage object and to parent the armature to the cage. Before I do that, I'm going to set the physics type of the armature to no collision. And I'm going to select all the parts of the skin and set the physics for each one to no collision. To make a simple cage, Add mesh cube, change the physics type to character, click the invisible button to make the cage invisible at runtime, scroll down and tick collision bounds, click the object properties button, name the object cage, set its Z location to 2.3, set its X scale to 0.8, its Y scale to 0.8 and its Z scale to 2. With the cage selected, hold down shift and in the outliner window select the armature so that both are selected. In the logic editor window we see the logic bricks attached to the armature and below we see the logic bricks attached to the cage. At the moment there aren't any. In the object menu, scroll up, game, copy logic bricks, and the logic bricks attached to the armature will be copied to the cage. Next, we need to separate the action and the motion actuators. The action actuators need to stay attached to the armature to make the bones move and the motion actuators need to be attached to the cage to make the character as a whole move. Mm -hmm. 
To make the cage the parent of the armature, in the outliner window select the armature, hold down shift and select the cage, with the mouse pointer in the 3D view window hold down control and press P, set parent to object keep transform, press P to start the game engine, press escape, the cage is a physics type character so it falls with gravity and the armature is its child so it follows. We need to add a floor, add mesh plane, press S to scale 10 and enter. Pressing P to start the game engine the character will now walk over the ramp but with such a simple cage shape the collision bounds will not be that good. I'm going to call that the end of part one of the tutorial. In part two, I'll have a look at trying to make the collision bounds more accurate. And for the motion actuator, I'll look at motion type character. So if you're interested in those things, have a look at part two.